Good morning, everybody. Let's turn our attention to the King of Kings, the one who can wipe every tear from our eye. We're so grateful for all your promises, Lord Jesus. Help us to focus on you today. Amen. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look for his wonderful face. And the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of His glory and grace. Sing that again. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in His wonderful face. And the things of earth together. God, I look to you, and I won't be overwhelmed. Give me vision to see things like you do. God, I look to you, you're where my help comes from. Give me wisdom, you know just what. I won't be 
Fill us with living water. Fill us with your grace and mercy, with your comfort. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Jesus, for accepting us when we come to you in repentance and trust. You accept us, and you have wonderful promises waiting for us. Fill us now. Help us to be changed by the reading of your word, by being in your presence. We thank you in Jesus' name. Good morning and welcome to worship. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Today our colors brighten to white in celebration of the Feast of All Saints. Today we especially give thanks to God for those blessed saints who have gone before us in the faith and now rest from their labors on earth. We pray that God would so strengthen our faith through his word and by his spirit, in our loving memory of them, that in our lives we may testify to the glory of God in Christ and by the example of those who have gone before us, live our lives in faithful service to our Lord and to this world. We pray that God would bless our worship, strengthening our faith and sending us forward with his spirit. We're glad that you've joined us. Let's begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Beloved in the Lord, let us draw near with a true heart and confess our sins unto God our Father, beseeching him in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to grant us forgiveness. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord. And you forgave the iniquity of my sin. O Almighty God, merciful Father, I, a poor, miserable sinner, confess unto you all my sins and iniquities with which I have ever offended you and justly deserve your temporal and eternal punishment but I am heartily sorry for them and sincerely repent of them. And I pray you of your boundless mercy and for the sake of the holy, innocent, bitter sufferings and death of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, to be gracious and merciful to me, a poor sinful being. Upon this, your confession, I, by virtue of my office, as a called and ordained servant of the word, announce the grace of God to all of you. And in the stead and by the command of my Lord Jesus Christ, I forgive you all your sins in the name of the Father and of the Son 
and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you knit together your faithful people of all times and places into one holy communion, the mystical body of your Son, Jesus Christ. Grant us so to follow your blessed saints in all virtuous and godly living, that together with them we may come to the unspeakable joys you have prepared for those who love you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Holy Gospel lesson this morning is from the book of Matthew, uh, beginning with the fifth chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. Seeing the crowds, Jesus went up on the mountain, and when he sat down, his disciples came to him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when others revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Okay, hi, my name is Richard Stimbra, and this is my son, Evan, and... My name's Audrey, and, and I'll tell you my full name, too. My name is Audrey by Stimbra, in case of you didn't know my whole name, and I told you part of my name, too. Okay, so this is Audrey Edelweiss Stimbra, mm -hmm. Evan Stimbra, Richard Stimbra, mm -hmm. and we are here today to teach yeah. all the kids out there uh, the Beatitudes. Beatitudes are what Jesus gave uh, as instructions to the people uh, on the Sermon on the Mount. And these are some uh, rules for living. And uh, we have some little hand gestures to accompany the Beatitudes. So uh, it'll help you remember them if you don't already know them. Uh, Jesus said, uh, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for they shall inherit the kingdom of heaven. You know that? So, and there's eight total. So this is number one. Uh, number two, blessed are those who mourn. When you're crying, mourn. For they shall be comforted. Dry those tears. And number three, blessed are the meek. The meek. For, for they shall... That's the M. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Oh. Yeah, they shall inherit the earth. And number four, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. So here we're going to be hungering and thirsting for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Let's pat our bellies in satisfaction. So we've got a nice uh, belly of Jesus here. So, uh, and then uh, number number. Uh, Five is blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Mm -hmm. They shall receive mercy. And uh, number six, blessed are the pure of heart. Yes, for they shall see God. You ready to see God with your gospel glasses on? I see you, God. You see God. Okay, blessed are those, they, they, the pure of heart, for they shall see God. And then number seven, 
Blessed are the peacemakers. That's the peacemakers. The peacemakers. For they shall become sons of God. So all the other five come back and they're all sons of God. They're all hanging out together. And then uh, the eighth one, the last one, is blessed are the persecuted for their righteousness. Yes, they're, they're pers getting persecuted because theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And they go up to the kingdom of heaven. And those are all the Beatitudes. I hope it helped those of you who didn't know them already. And if you know them already, uh, that's awesome. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye, Evan. Bye-bye. I hope you guys have a good day today. Let us confess our Christian faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate, who suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge both the living and the dead, whose kingdom will have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Christian and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let's sing of his worthiness. Let's sing of his holiness. We will be there with him. Along with the multitudes. Let's not wait till we get there to sing his praises.
First lesson is from Revelation chapter 7. After this I looked, and behold, a great multitude that no one could number, from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes with palm branches in their hands, and crying out with a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb! And with all the angels were standing around the throne, and around all the elders, and the four living creatures, and they fell on their faces before the throne and worshipped God, saying, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God for ever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders addressed me, saying, Who are these? clothed in white robes, and from where have they come? I said to him, Sir, you know. And he said to me, These are the ones coming out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore they are before the throne of God, and serve him day and night in his temple. And he who sits on the throne will shelter them with his presence. They shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more, and the sun shall not strike them, nor any scorching heat. For the Lamb in the midst of the throne will be their shepherd, and he will guide them to springs of living water, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. This is the word of the Lord. Dearly loved and precious children of God, saints of the Lord in Jesus Christ, grace, mercy, and peace be yours from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Our text for today is the final verse of our first lesson today. From Revelation chapter 7, verse 17. For the Lamb in the midst of the throne 
will be their shepherd, and he will guide them to springs of living water, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. This is our text. Today, we are celebrating the Feast of All Saints. All Saints Day falls every year on November 1st. But when that date on the calendar falls on a weekday, we pull the theme of All Saints Day into the next Sunday. We do this every year because it is a wonderful opportunity to remember those blessed saints who have gone before us in the faith and to give thanks to God for calling them and us to be saints, that is, children of God, by God's grace through faith in Jesus Christ. Today we are remembering not only the saints of the Bible, like St. Peter and St. Paul and St. Mary, but we remember and we give thanks for those blessed saints who have been so cherished and so loved and so valuable in our earthly lives. Beloved parents, spouses, children, brothers, sisters, and dear friends who walked with Jesus beside us on earth and who have fallen asleep in the arms of Jesus. Our celebration of those saints that have gone before us in the faith is not without sorrow, however. Our joy in remembering our precious loved ones is also accompanied by the sorrow we feel because they are no longer with us. Grief is a natural response to the loss of loved ones. And grief, we know, is a process. It is said that there are five stages of grief. Denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. Each one of these stages has its own distinctive characteristics. But there is one element that is a part of every stage of grief. And that element is the shedding of tears. Tears may appear tiny on the outside, but they are enormous expressions of the emotion on the inside. The deep and inexpressible sorrow within us wells up into the tears that flow outside of us. Whether or not anyone else sees our tears, there is one who sees every tear we shed and who holds our hearts in his loving hands. The Bible is filled with descriptions of God's people shedding tears. Among those who are named and shed tears in the Bible were Abraham, Jacob, Esau, Rachel, Joseph, Benjamin, David, Saul, Hezekiah, Ezra, Nehemiah, Job, Jeremiah, Peter, Paul, John, Mary, Martha, Jesus himself, and many, many others. Tears are a natural expression of the pain and sorrow we feel inside. 
Indeed, wise King Solomon said in Ecclesiastes 3 that there is a time to weep, and weep we do, at least here in this earthly life. But tears are not forever. The psalmist wrote in Psalm 126, those who sow in tears will reap with songs of joy. The day will come when our earthly labor is complete and our earthly tears give way to eternal joy. In our text today, we are assured God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. The one who accomplishes this is the one who was slain for the sins of the world and who rose again in victory from death and who now sits at the right hand of God on the throne of glory for all eternity. Our text tells us he is the shepherd. He guides us to springs of living water and he will wipe away the tears of those who mourn. In his earthly ministry, Jesus clearly identified himself as this shepherd. In John 10, Jesus declared, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. And again, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they will never perish, and no one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of my Father's hand. Now, having secured our rescue, and having completed our salvation, the good shepherd sits on the throne of glory and guides his own to springs of living water. And he will wipe away every tear from our eyes. Dear saints of God, we may mourn and weep here, and we do, but our mourning lasts only for a night. The day is coming when God will wipe away every tear from our eyes. Oh, what a glorious day that will be. May this day, this All Saints Sunday, be not only a loving remembrance of those who have gone before us, but a joy-filled and inexpressible hope of the day when we will be reunited for all eternity, every tear wiped from our eyes, and all that we see, and the only one we worship and give thanks to is the Lamb who sits on the throne, the shepherd who guides us to living waters. May God bless us and keep us in the name of Jesus, our good shepherd. Amen. Now may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and our minds through faith in Christ Jesus to life eternal. Amen. Think about a sacrifice, all that he has done for us and all that he will do, and say thank you. Jesus Christ, I think upon your sacrifice, you became nothing, poured out to death. Many times I've wondered at your gift of life, and I've been that place once again. And I'm 
I'm in that place once again Once again I look upon the cross where you died I'm humbled by your mercy and I'm broken inside Once again I thank you Once again I pour out my Now you are exalted to the highest place King of the heavens, where one day I'll bow But for now, I marvel at your saving grace And I'm full of praise once again And I'm in that, <laughs> full of praise once again Once again I look on the cross where you died I'm humbled by your mercy and I'm broken inside once again I thank you once again I pour out my life sing that again Sometimes that's all we can say is thank you. Forgiveness comes by way of the cross. Eternal life and all your promises are fulfilled in the name that is above all names, Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. Amen. Let us pray for the whole people of God in Christ Jesus and for all people according to their needs. Almighty God, you have knit your chosen people together into one communion 
in the mystical body of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, give to your whole church in heaven and on earth your light and your peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Grant that all who have been baptized into Christ's death and resurrection may die to sin and rise to newness of life and so pass with him through the gate of death and the grave to their joyful resurrection. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Grant that all who have been nourished by the holy body and blood of your Son may be raised to immortality and incorruption to be seated with him at your heavenly banquet. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Bless all ministers of the gospel and the congregations committed to their care, that the comfort of Christ's sacrifice and the joy of his resurrection may be proclaimed to all who grieve their sin and mourn their dead. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bless all in authority over us especially those who work to bring peace and justice, that they may be inclined to your will and walk according to your commandments. Grant wisdom to our citizens and courage and competence to our leaders. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Help us, we pray, in the midst of things we cannot understand, to believe and find comfort in the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Keep us in fellowship with all your saints, O Lord, and bring us at last to the joy of your heavenly kingdom. Draw near to those in need of your healing grace here, including Jorge Portugal, Tom Poole, and Gus Rodin. Be present with them, bless them with your comfort and peace, and grant them healing according to your good and gracious will. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the family and friends of former Zion member Dave Schultz, who was summoned to eternal life on Wednesday, October 27th. Bless those who mourn, O Lord, with comfort in their grief, peace in your presence, and the sure hope of a glorious reunion in heaven through the resurrection power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we rejoice with Ashlyn Norris and Nate Taylor, who were joined in the bonds of holy marriage on Saturday, October 23rd, in Eagle, Idaho. Bless the vows they have made to each other, and keep them strong in faith in Christ, and united in love for each other all the days of their lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Into your hands, O Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Taught by our Lord and trusting his promises, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Go on your way rejoicing. 
surrounded as you are by such a great cloud of witnesses, take courage as you face each new challenge and comfort when you pick yourself up from a fall in whatever good you choose to do, precede it with hope, accompany it with prayer, and follow it with thanksgiving. The blessing of God most wonderful, whom the saints have trusted as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, will be with you now and forever. Amen. It is that time again to sing our closing song, May He Receive All Glory and Honor and Power, Authority in Our Lives. Help us to glorify you, Lord. Amen. My friends may grow in grace And in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior My friends may grow in grace And in the knowledge of Jesus Christ To God be glory Now and forever in Now and forever Amen To God be the glory Now and forever in Now and forever Amen Now and forever Lord Jesus, you deserve it. Use us, we pray. Amen. Have a great week, everybody. God bless you.